Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time here, hi, my name is Melissa or Missa, welcome. This is Sausage, he just wants some cuddles at this time in the afternoon, is this our cuddle time? Today we have a really exciting video, my last video that I posted um, was me playing with my new Beauty Bay Midnight palette and then the vast majority of comments asked me to play with the Earthy next because I also have the berries but yeah the Earthy got the most requests to be used Next, so that's what we're going to do today. I'm obviously going to do this look here that is on my eyes. A very Melissa look. There's gems. I've used a waterliner. You know what I mean? It's a Melissa look. And uh, I'm going to swatch the whole thing and give you my thoughts now. I don't know what I just said. So yeah, this is the Earthy palette. This is the 42 colour. They come in a few different sizes. How beautiful is that? I'm like, look at it. Bottom two rolls don't really call my name to be quite honest, although some of the shimmers are very, very pretty, but like the top four rows are where it's at for me. Uh, yeah, it's gorgeous, look at this colour. I mean, I'm going to swatch it in a second, but... Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Oh! So yeah, if you want to see all that, then let's just jump into it, and if you missed my midnight one, I will link it down below. And uh, let's jump into it. Oh, also, before we do, if I have permission, hopefully, um, I'm going to put up some swatches on screen from an Instagrammer who is Fly Like a Bird 13 and she has compared the Wilderness palette to the Earthy palette and I think she has managed to dupe 14 of the shades, I think 14 of the 16 in the palette so hopefully you're seeing all those pictures on screen right now again if I have the permission to share them and if not I will just link the Instagram post down below so you can go and check it out. But yeah, it saves me having to compare the two because I cannot be bothered swatching them side by side. But yeah, all that hard work is done, thanks so much. To Fly Like a Bird, 13. I mean, I'm looking at it now and they are so similar. Uh, but yeah, let's jump into my swatches of the Earthy palette. Just got a very cuddly kitten. It just wants love. Here is purring. I love you with my whole heart. I'm going to swatch roll by roll. I'm not going to prime my arm. I've got cat hair on my face. And we are going to see what happens. So we have fresh. I'm going to swatch them all twice, but I might not show it on camera. Ivy. Sage. Rave. Frost. Cobra. And seahorse. Next row we have wit. Weird name. Okay. Trance. Shamrock. Shut up. Moss. Pine. Sketch. And last up, Pixie. Obviously this palette is a green lover's dream. Let's be honest. Very green. Got a nice amount of depth. It's looking rather lovely. Shimmers look nice. No complaints. It goes very, very pale and it goes pretty dark with this matte here. Lots of nice in-betweeny shades as well. That moss shade is very pretty. Okay, let's move on to the next two rows. We have Fern, Leafy, Ray. He just wants some dinner, which I will give him in a second. Acid. They Lime. Doesn't even need two swatches, does it? Corduroy. And apple. Next row, we've got seaweed. Cava. Pickle. Amazing name. Penny. Whistle. Folklore. And eucalyptus. That definitely has a cat hair in it. Oh my goodness, look at these swatches! I know sausage, they're crazy! Those shimmers, that one is like insane! This lime one, those grungy green mattes, what? This is my second favourite out of all three palettes and it's still like really blowing my socks off. Like beauty base swatches, like the way their palette swatches always blow me away. I just think they're absolutely phenomenal. Come on. Okay, we're in our last two rows and I'm hoping that my camera battery survives. This next shimmer is outrageous. We have Satellite, Brick. 
I named one after me, Legend. Herd. Like a herd of buffalo. Soprano, one of the best TV shows I've ever seen in my life. Squash. That's actually a really pretty tone of orange brown. And baked. Novel. This is our very last row. Pam, like palm tree. Cats are scratching my chair if you can hear that. Show. Don't know if that will show up on my skin tone. <laughs> Fizz. Quicksand. Heat. And raw. There's the bottom two rows. They are so boring to me overall, but some of the shimmers are phenomenal. Like that very first one is sick. Some of the other ones are gorgeous. But yeah, honestly, browns and like reds are not my jam, really, as most of you will know. But I can kind of see why they're in this palette because you could blend greens with these. Like for sure, like this, this brown here, this matte one is like very green tone brown as well. And you could definitely use the oranges and yellows. I can see why they're in there, but the bottom two rows are like the least interesting to me. But I know a lot of people do love these kind of tones. It's just not my usual thing. But anyway, that is all the swatches. That's actually the first time I've swatched the palette as a whole myself. And honestly, just as impressed with that that uh, as I was with the Midnight Palette Beauty Bay swatch. Absolutely stunningly. I've never really had an issue with them apart from the Nikki Tutorials palette. Um, so yeah, that is all the swatches. We're going to jump into me doing this look on my eye. Again, it's a voiceover because it means I can get the video out a lot faster and uh, it keeps the video a little bit shorter as well because I can be known to do videos that are far too long. So yeah, let's jump into that and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end of the video on whether or not I think the palette's good. And I think I've probably already given that away with this intro. Another day, another voiceover. Look at me, primed and ready to go. And I took pictures of the order that I used the shadows in this time. Clever, right? So I'm using what I think is the darkest green first, seaweed. Oh my god, there's no black. Obviously. But we have to just go on with what with what we're given. And I wasn't gonna use a black in a first impression of this palette. Uh, this is just going on beautifully. Look at the depth. Look at it, it's gorgeous. Then I'm taking pine. I thought that said pie for a minute there and I'm very hungry so of course I thought it was pie. Anyway this is just first of all kind of stamping it on but to be honest uh, the past few days I have not touched my eyebrows and I feel like my skin's getting better around my eyes so I was able to blend these more properly like normally rather than just stamping. But yeah I'm just popping this round we're obviously just going through dark to light on these greens. Then I'm going to do a shamrock which is a plant. That is right. Facts with Melissa. That is what my channel's all about and my camera's like, nah, I don't want to focus because you're a cow. And I'm like, all right, fine. Uh, popping this round. I kind of stayed away from the grungy greens for some reason today. I figured like, I'm always called to grungy greens if there's like grungy greens available. Oh, I'm just taking apple here. Um, it's quite late at night and I have to keep my voice down a wee bit. Um, yeah, I, f I feel like I would always go to the grungy greens. So I was trying to use maybe some more, look at me trying to get the camera focused. Um, I'm trying to use more of the kind of brighter, more primary-ish greens as opposed to the grungy ones. And then I'm taking Rave do -ne 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 to blend this out. And um, yeah, next look I do with it, I think I'll I'll go way more grungy and try and bring in those orange tones as well, like the browns and the oranges and the grungy greens, just to keep it a little bit different. And then I'm taking seahorse. The male seahorse carries the eggs. More facts with Melissa. There you go. I think that's right from documentaries I watched years ago. Of course, got to add more to the other side. So I'm like, dunno, do they match? That is where we are. That is what it looks like. And obviously, I'm going to go away and blend this all again. That is just the initial popping on of the colours. But trust me when I say, friends, this palette performs spectacularly. I have no issues with the quality of the mattes that we're using right now. They're phenomenal. And there's so many shades in the 42 colour palette. There's 42 shades, more facts, 
Uh, so there's there's so many blending shades and like darker shades and mid-tone shades and then light shades and then potatoes stood in my back and it was really sore because I've got bare skin. And then he went up on the shelf and I was like, don't you dare knock over those palettes, mate. Um, but yeah, there's so many shades for blending that it's just a joy to work with, to be quite honest. Like, why is he sitting up there when he's got a lovely cosy bed? You know what, he looks like he's a homeless cat and I'm like, mate, I give you everything you want in life. And he's like, mother's never given me a bed. I must sit on the pallets. Right now he's sitting on my wet hair turban. So then I'm taking ray and lime and then moss. And I'm going to use these on the lid, ray on the, the front part and then lime in the centre and moss on the outside. These are lovely, lovely shimmers. They're all very, very good. Nothing wrong with them at all. Probably going better with a finger but because I'm trying to be like precise I'm using a brush and I'm using them wet and they perform so good and my waterliner by the way is mellow from Sheen my favorite shade I use it in most looks because I think it is just gorgina to be quite honest trying to blend those all a little bit together and then I took fortune ultra matte gel liner from melt as a base I couldn't use black so I used green aren't I a pioneer and then I went over it with the darkest green that we started off with just so that it would melt into the outer corner and not be like super obvious um, and then this is that very light shade I can't remember it's called Ray I think I'm putting it under the brow but of course I'm going to top it with glitter because it's Melissa it's my channel and if glitter is allowed to be involved I'll use it that's what the eye looks like at the moment um, I think I go back and like fiddle with the blending at some point because I'm like now nah, they don't really match um, I'm gonna go do my under eye because it's basically very simple but annoying to film and then I thought I would just include me adding the gems because gems are life gems are like glitter gems make everything better glitter makes everything better and I thought they just brought a bit more interest to the look and again kept it very Melissa yeah here I am just fiddling with the blending pulling that dark green out a bit more and uh, that is pretty much the finished look. I'm just going to go throw my lashes on. I used really cheap Shop Miss A lashes. I just stacked them together and they look really cool. I just need to go over the lash band still. But yeah, this is the finished look. I'm happy with it. It's a, like a, it's a very Melissa look. It's what I would do. I like it a lot. But in terms of the, the shadows, really, really great quality. Absolutely no complaints about them whatsoever. I think they really are phenomenal. And if you like green eyeshadow, then this palette is definitely for you. And... It does dupe the wilderness, I think 12 of the 20 shades or whatever's in there, but like if you don't have that, get this one instead. It's, it really is lovely. Here we are then, all my makeup is finished. Obviously my lips are a bit of a mishmash of Melt Golden and then I went over the top with a nude and then I went over the top with a Kat Von D uh, Marigold. Bit of a mishmash. Everything's done. Like I said, find these earrings that totally match. Got green on my top. We are keeping on theme. Now I need to wear pink for my next video. Yeah, that is my uh, swatches. I'm tutorial using, tutorial demo, using the Earthy palette. And I gave the Midnight 10 out of 10 because it was perfect in my eyes. I'm giving this 9 out of 10. A, because greens aren't as interesting to me as blues and purples. But B, there is no black in this palette. And I, if you know me, I need a black eyeshadow. I didn't even add one today. I'm quite shocked. And to be honest, there's a lot of depth there. It kind of looks like I've used black eyeshadow, but I haven't. Promise. So actually, it does go very deep. Uh, I really don't have any other gripes with this palette, to be honest. I will say, like this, shut up. This ivy shade and this seaweed shade are like identical. They don't need both of them in there. And there's probably some other shades that are quite identical. But yeah, nine out of 10, it's a great palette. Again, the quality is phenomenal and again, in terms of the Wilderness palette, you don't need both. So if you have the Wilderness, you definitely don't need to buy this, looking at those swatch comparisons. But maybe if you're an absolute green hoe, like Teresa, then you'll want this anyway, just so you have more greens to play with in your life. And uh, maybe you couldn't get the Wilderness. Sutton or Sutton, get this one instead. Excellent quality. Beauty Bay literally never let me down anymore, apart from the Nikki Tutorials palette, which I thought was crap. I just, this is the brand that I would want to do a collaboration with because their palettes are the tits, the formula is the tits, it's all excellent. Uh, and that means that our next video will be the berries. 
and we'll do just a very pink and pretty look. This has a really pretty like jewel chrome in it as well. But yeah, that'll be our next video. If that's what you guys want to see. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Have you bought these palettes? Have you not? Are you going to be still deciding? As far as I know, these are not limited edition. They are permanent, uh, which is great. So you wouldn't really have to buy them now. You could wait. And uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I put out three videos a week. And on Wednesdays, I go live for my sausages. Also known as my uh, Patreons. Uh, we have a Telegram group, a Facebook group. It's a great time. The link is in the description. And I'm going to piss off and go and give these boys some treaties. Anyone want treaties? Yeah? Treaties? <laughs> yeah, I better go do that. So I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye! See you.